I hate computers. They're so possessive. They expect you to drop your family, your friends, just to stay close by its side so it can liquefy your brain into slurm. It's the power to arouse curiosity. It, 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 it's the power to arouse curiosity. So sometimes you may just need to get out of the house. Sometimes you may not have a choice. You may be on a business trip or something where you're forced to use a computer that's not your own. The only problem is all your stuff is on your computer. Now, there's many different ways of taking your stuff with you, but in this video I'm going to focus on the portable way. I'm going to show you different ways of creating your own portable applications or downloading existing applications and putting them on a thumb drive or an iPod or some type of portable storage device so you can use them on any other computer that's not your own. Alright, that's quite unnecessary. The first thing that you want to do is open up a web browser and go to portableapps.com slash node slash 9909. And this will take you to a forum entry for a portable app creator to download. Um, if you scroll halfway down the page, you'll see a link for RapidShare or Mediafire to download it. I'm just going to download mine from RapidShare, but you can choose either one. So just download it to your computer, and whatever directory you save it to, go ahead and put the applications that you want to portableize in that directory as well. Then extract the portable app creator and double click on the folder and uh, you'll see a PAC compiler link. Just double click on that uh, to install it real quick and then it'll give you a link for portable app creator. Now it's going to have you select the drive letter where your portable device is at. Mine is on drive F. And when you click next it'll have you select the program that you want to portableize. I'm going to do Mario Forever and then click next and it will take a snapshot. Click next again and it's going to run through the installation process for the application. It tells you to make sure to install it to your portable device. So I'm going to put mine on drive F and you can put yours on wherever your portable device is at. And then whenever it's through installing, um, if it asks you to run it, make sure you check no and then just finish out of the installation. Now it's going to have you select the application and a shortcut. You don't really have to do that. And then it's going to automatically run the program for you. You want to run it just to make sure everything works. Because if it doesn't work on your computer, it won't work on your flash drive. So once you've done that, close out of it and click next and it'll take another snapshot. And click next and it's going to process the shots and finish out the application. So now you want to test to make sure that everything worked. So just go to your portable device and go to the program that you just installed on it. I'm going to go to Mario Forever and uh, sure enough it works. Now keep in mind this won't work for every application. If it's uh, a, a, a really advanced application it probably won't work. So uh, to fix that you probably want to do a Google search for portable apps to see if anybody else has created the application that you're wanting to put on there. This is portableapps.com which is a really good resource. The next link on Google was makeuseof.com and they have 100 links for PC and Mac portable applications. And then Wikipedia itself has a lot of uh, good links to portable applications as well. Now another good application to put on your flash drive is called geek.menu and this is just a menu for your portable device that shows up in the lower right hand corner of your screen. So if you want to you can download it and just double click on it and install it to your portable device. Mine again is on drive F so I'm going to select that to extract it to. And once it's through extracting just pull out your portable device and plug it back in and you'll see this option to run the menu and this is what the menu looks like. Now to add stuff to the menu click on options and go to advanced options and go to shortcuts. To add a shortcut you want to put dollar sign host drive dollar sign. This will ensure that no matter what computer it's on and what drive letter it's assigned that it'll open up the application. So I'm going to try NVU real quick. So the, the path is F colon slash NVU. So here it's going to be host drive colon slash NVU and then slash NVU dot exe. And here's a link to the Mario Forever application I created. 
And then just click OK and there's the two links and you can click on them to start them up. Now um, if you have any extra links that I didn't mention here, feel free to post those in the comments and for more go to tinkernut.com.